I thought I might let you know what uh, Labour's conference slogan is going to be. It's fairer, greener, future. Very good, very good. And uh, the new Chancellor, Quasi, has been uh, the subject of some debate. In fact, almost all the policies which Liz Truss is going to be announcing in the next day or so are policies that come under his umbrella. She's already announced one or two. We'll come to those later. And a former, an unnamed former senior Conservative minister was asked, is the Chancellor secretly working for Labour? And the answer was, not at all. There's no secret about it. Labour has a 10-point lead over the Conservatives. That's extraordinary at this point in a parliament. And so what is Liz Truss, this new Prime Minister, going to do about that? Going to do to restore help? What is she going to do to rebuild the economy? What is she going to do to make herself more popular? And the answer is she's going to remove the green levies. She's going to allow fracking, which won't achieve anything in the immediate future. She's going to ditch the net zero plans they are on hold. Oh, but look, what is Labour's slogan? Fairer, greener future. The Conservative Party is saying, under Liz Truss, that it doesn't give a damn. And we also hear that there are rumours of another Conservative leadership election, as if we've not already had enough. Boris wants that, of course. Rishi Sunak might want that. Under Liz Truss, the Conservatives face almost certain disaster unless she pulls a cat out of the bag, a rabbit out of the hat in the immediate future, and she doesn't look set to be doing that. There's at least 150 Conservative MPs who face imminent defeat at the next election. So will her policies grow the economy? Don't think so. Will her policies be popular? Don't think so. Will her policies prove a distraction from more unpopular stuff that she's proposing? Don't think so. Even if Therese Kofi manages to uh, say something uplifting about the NHS, I think she's very unlikely to do that. She's more unlikely to make more fuss about Oxford commas. And that is only going to be of interest to some twit like me uh, who was entertained by the idea of the Oxford comma. Frankly, frankly, if it's a matter of government um, policy, I prefer to move with the times. I don't know whether that's a pun. I'm not sure whether the times favours the Oxford comma or not. I have a suspicion it probably does. So what is the Labour... Uh, what is the Conservative Party? Oh, my goodness. Even I am now mixing up uh, the two parties. What is the Conservative Party planning to do this week? What is Liz Truss planning to do? Because the Queen's death effectively gave Liz Truss a breathing space to get her cards in order, to get her uh, affairs in order, so that she can present things directly to the country. But of course, what she's been doing is dogging Prince Charles, running around the country, trying to get photo opportunities, and appearing at every possible moment uh, in the back, um, in the back right-hand corner of a camera. Uh, Liz Truss should have been getting on with the job. In fact, she's been idling her time away. We have to wait and see whether or not she's actually managed to master any briefs. So let's look at the initiative she's got. The first initiative has already been announced, which is that she's going to remove the cap on bankers' bonuses. Now, bankers' bonuses were, were capped at twice their actual salary. That seems quite, uh, quite, quite, quite a reasonable cap. It was imposed by Labour. She's going to remove this. Does it do anything? except make the rich richer. Um, what a strange initiative to propose when we've got a cost of living crisis. What a strange initiative to be leading with. Um, you know, Labour imposed the cap in order to stop a further financial crisis. This is something that can easily be spun by Labour to say that, you know, Liz Truss is actually proposing a further financial crisis. Um, you know, and uh, she's proposing £30 billion pounds of, of tax cuts, and they come in two forms. First of all, to um, 
scrapped the national insurance rise, which Rishi Sunak had overseen. Now, she could say, well, she's simply restoring a manifesto promise. That's OK. But then she's also going to scrap uh, the rise in corporation tax. That makes no sense at all. It's, these things are going to cost £30 billion pounds and none of it is going to benefit the poor. None of it is going to benefit those who are struggling with the cost of living. It's only going to help the rich. So in terms of, in terms of um, promoting uh, the party as something that can be elected within two years, these policies are not going to cut it. And these policies are being presented by Quasi. Quasi, the fellow who was having a private moment, uh, who was, um, maybe he was looking at his phone, giggling during the funeral, playing alone, um, playing with himself. I, 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 um, not a team player, not somebody who was sharing that joke with anybody else, simply with himself, and I think we're going to get more of the same. I had great hopes for this man. I had great hopes that this was somebody who was going to um, bind the Conservative Party together, bring the country in line instead. He's playing games under the pews while Her Majesty the Queen is lying in front of him during the funeral. What an absolute disgrace. It's not good optics and nor are these uh, three proposals. And if the only thing that we've got to uh, hang on to is the hope that Therese Kofi will produce um, something. Well, I think we're, I, I, I think um, the unnamed Conservative former minister is absolutely right. Kwasi is um, the best gift that Labour has ever been given. Uh, other, than, other than Liz Truss, of course. Other than Liz Truss. Bring it on. I think within two years, maybe sooner, uh, Sakir Starmer will be uh, holding the keys of number 10. That is the only, the only future that I can see. Let me know what you think. I'd be really interested, and I'd be really interested to, uh, to, to hear your views on Quasi's entertainment during Her Majesty's funeral. I think it's a disgrace. I think he deserves to be ridiculed out of office.